I am Nicole Hoven with Barnyard Blooms. I started my business um, May of 2007. My husband and I, we started, um, I guess, a year prior redesigning the barn. We spent about a year um, cleaning, gutting. I went to school for nursery landscape and my husband's a farmer, so we kind of put both of our businesses together. Um, my mom owns a gift store down in Bonaparte, Iowa, so we kind of brought the gifts in as well. So it's kind of all these different businesses rolled into one. We knew that we wanted to do a garden center gift shop. We didn't really know at that point uh, where we were going to do it. I'd always wanted to do it in an old barn. I just thought that would be pretty cool. So my husband, his family bought this barn back in the 70s along with some of the adjacent farm ground that we do our corn maize and pumpkins on. So we just kind of brainstormed one day and we said, hey, let's just clean this up and use it because it's already here and it's, it's old and it's got some history to it. The barn has been around since the late 1800s and so it's nice that we can preserve it and people can see what a barn used to actually look like on the inside. It's, it's pretty much all original, but it means a lot because it's ground that was bought. It's in the family. It's, it's, it's family history. A new building just wouldn't have the same character and so that's kind of why we are, we're called Barnyard Blooms. It's, it just, it kind of goes along with the whole farming atmosphere. My husband has farmed with his father for ever since he was little. Um, his grandparents bought the farm here in Louisa County and um, his dad has taken over that and someday Bryce will take over that when he um, uh, retires. As far as advice, I would say definitely my parents just because they have their own business um, and they've been very successful and so as far as like business questions we'll definitely go to them. Um, as far as just um, everyday questions about the barn or about certain activities that we might want to try for some year we I would say Bryce's parents too because they they used to do farm tours for, at their house so they're they're used to people coming and, and they give tours a lot. Basically January through March um, we're not here much at all. Uh, about 1st of March we'll come in and we completely gut the barn. We redecorate. Uh, we get all of our inventory and our plant material and things in. That way for April, May, June is our real busy spring season. Lots of people in for mulch and plants and things like that. Then we kind of transition to July and August which is a slower season because it's pretty warm outside. Most people aren't planting but we do lots and lots of pumpkins so those are outgrowing. The corn maze is being cut and uh, ready to go and then our corn maze season is we're getting you know everything done for that. So that's kind of our downtime. and then September, October is extremely busy especially on the weekends. Uh, lots of school groups, lots of church groups, families, lots of people are in and uh, so very 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 hectic and then we kind of go back down to November, December where we, we start just our Christmas season in the barn and then we're done for the year. I do a lot of landscape design work that we don't charge for. We do all that free of charge just because if they're going to purchase our plants, you know, I'll provide them with the designs and the, and the knowledge. Um, because we are smaller, um, I think we spend more time with each customer and what they really need as far as their plant material goes or even their home decor. I just think people like more of a personal aspect. They want to be able to actually talk to somebody that cares and knows what they're doing and so I think that's kind of what we bring to the table that we're just a little more um, home-based and I think a lot of my customers like that. Every year we have tons of families that I've seen for the last seven years so it's kind of cool because every year they're here for the corn maze so they come and do the corn maze, pick out their pumpkin so it's neat to kind of see them year after year you know. People are always out and about you know trying to find their pumpkins and things like that so it's a it's a fun season because it's a whole different clientele it's more of the families versus in the spring it's just more of the the ladies getting out and getting their stuff for their gardens it's just been kind of fun to talk to all the people that like having it so close so it's it's nice for them we have a lot of church groups that come out every year a lot of boy scout troops girl scout troops the FFA will come out and you know I, I help them with certain projects, maybe landscape projects that, that they have. Um, yeah, whatever the, the community needs help, you know, whether it's donations or they need um, any sort of advice, you know, we're very willing to help. I think online is probably about the best way that people have found out about our business. We do have a website which I think helps a lot. Facebook I think is probably one of the best ways to advertise. Um, we do advertise a lot in the local papers. Um, word of mouth I think helps a lot. You can't be worried about failure I guess. You just have to go into it and you have to 
put as much effort as you can into it because it nothing's going to come out of it if you don't or if you're not willing to work you know we work very hard and just you know building our customer base we're very careful about making sure every customer their needs are met as long as you're willing to to do the work behind it i think that you can make it happen but um, and you just have to um, just really care about your customers and because they are the people who you know pay your bills at the end of the day coming to work you know on a busy day in the fall or the spring and having you know hundreds of people come through in a day and then at the end of the night you can you know you hear stories about people having how they've had fun or how they've enjoyed bringing their families out I just think it's it's just all the customers I like seeing all the customers every day and that they've enjoyed coming out here and that they've you know kind of created new memories for their families I think that's probably the best thing is just seeing all your hard work kind of come into play and it's not always about the money it's just we really like meeting new people every day and providing a service to our community and it's definitely about just about all the families and things that we we meet I think is probably about the most fun part so